Welcome to TechX Tutorials. This video demonstrates how to install the vSIM product on a Windows system. The first part of the tutorial explains how to install vSIM. The second part of the tutorial explains how to install the vSIM license file. Before beginning the product installation, download the vSIM installer file to a convenient location. In this video, the installer file is located on the Windows desktop. Double-click the Installer File icon or file name to start the Setup Wizard. Throughout the installation process, you will be offered a series of dialog boxes. In the Setup Wizard, click the Next button. Before the installation process can begin, you must accept the license agreement. After reading the license agreement, click on the I Agree button to accept the agreement and start the installation. In the Choose Install Location dialog window, a default destination folder is displayed. In most cases, the default destination is appropriate. However, if you would like to install vSIM in another location, you may enter another path in the Destination Folder field, or else use the Browse button to find another location. After the desired destination folder is displayed, click the Next button. You can now choose the Start Menu folder. The installer will automatically create a Start Menu folder containing vSIM shortcuts. If you would prefer not to have the installer create shortcuts, check the Do Not Create Shortcuts checkbox located below the Start Menu list. In the tutorial, we will accept the default. Click on the Install button to begin the installation process. The installation process may take a few minutes. In the tutorial, we will skip ahead to the end of the installation process. Once all the program files have been installed, the Setup Wizard Completion dialog box is displayed. Click on the Finish button to complete the installation process. If you have purchased a vSIM license, the next step is to install the license file. The license file installation procedure is the same whether you are upgrading from vSIM evaluation software or installing newly purchased software. Your license file is emailed to you as an attachment to a message from TechX similar to the message shown here. Save your license file to a convenient location. In the tutorial, the license has been saved to the desktop. To install the license file, First, start vSIM by invoking vSIM Composer. Click on Tools in the main menu. Then select Settings. In the Application Settings dialog box, select License Settings. By default, vSIM comes with a temporary two-core license. To replace the default license with your purchase license, browse to where you saved your license file. Select your license file. Your license will be added to vSIM. In the tutorial, a new 8-core license has been added. Now that the license has been added, you are ready to use vSIM. Thank you for watching this TechX tutorial. To learn more about vSIM and other TechX products, please visit the TechX website.